This week we have celebrated the Sacrament of Communion in Cairn Castle. In the Presbyterian tradition, it's not something that we do that often, so it's always pretty special. And this time, I have been encouraging the congregation to consider three questions. First question, is sin serious? Does it really matter if we disregard or even break some of God's clear commandments? People perhaps shrug the shoulders and have a bit of a joke about it these days. We think it's a bit of a funny word. We use it sarcastically. But is sin serious? Well, I would say look at the table. Look at this bread. Look at this wine. These represent for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how serious sin is. When we disobey our neighbour, it separates us from him. And it took a life given in place of ours to put things right. And so it was Jesus' body that was beaten and broken on the cross, his blood that was shed, in order that our sins might be forgiven and that we could be made good and counted fit for heaven and go at last there, saved by his precious blood. So, yes, we look at the communion table and can come to no other conclusion than sin is very serious indeed and must be addressed. But here's another question. Does God really love us? Some people's experience in life has been, well, mixed as regards love. Perhaps they've been disappointed. Perhaps they've been abused by other human beings. And they are cautious, they're hesitant, they're suspicious of love. And after all, if God knows everything, if he knows everything I've ever done, well, some of it maybe wasn't all that good. Could he still love me? Could he still care about me? Would he still want to know me? Look again at the table. Look at this bread. Look at this wine. Here's how much God loves us. He gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Here is how much God wants us to be in his family. Here's how much Jesus was willing to give that we might uh, be with him forever. So yes, we can come to no other conclusion that God loves us very much and desires the very best for us. One last question. If this is how much Jesus loves us, if this is how much he was willing to give for us, what are we willing to give in return for him? What are we willing to do for him? Now, the first two questions in some ways had quite a simple, straightforward answer. I think it was yes each time. But this question, only I can answer that for myself. I can't answer for you. You've got to do that yourself. If Jesus did this for you, what are you willing to do for him? What are you willing to change? What are you willing to try and make better for his sake? There's something for us all to think about this week. May the Lord be gracious to you.